Welcome back to another sushi video recipe. I'm Chef DeVoe and today I'm going to show you how to make a sushi dinner platter. Now this was requested by a lot of you in the comment sections of my prior videos. Now basically what I'm going to tell you is to do less. Now what do I mean by less? I mean when a beginner tries to make sushi for many people, what they do is they try to overreach. They go and make 20 different sushi rolls and they have 20 different ingredients inside it. You go and make one with tuna, one with salmon, one with yellowtail, one with octopus, one with crab, one with all sorts of stuff. They go into the fish market, they just keep grabbing everything they can and just chuck it into all the sushi rolls. And then what you have is so much waste. And it takes so much time to stop and start trying to make different types of sushi rolls. In a restaurant environment, that's fine because you make all the prep and you're going to make six, seven, eight of each. And then that's not a problem. But when you're at home and you're making one of each, that's when you waste so much. So, what you want to do is you want to make one amazing sushi roll. Like the mosaic sushi roll, the flower sushi roll, the crispy deep fried sushi roll, or many other of my other sushi rolls that are amazing. And then you want to make one simple one and you want to top it with different types of things. So it looks like you've made 20 different sushi rolls, but you've already made two really. Much like when you make a cupcake and you make the base and then you put different icing on top, you do the same thing with the simple one. So, let's go see how this is done. So here what I'm going to make is a very simple salmon and cucumber sushi roll using 120 grams of cooked sushi rice, which is about 4 ounces, and some water to wet your hands so that the rice doesn't stick to your hands. If you want to learn how to make cooked sushi rice, then just click on the link on the top left corner and that will show you how to make this. Now you just spread it out nice and softly. You want to fluff it out here. You don't want to squish it down. You really don't want the rice to become too pressed and compressed. You just want it to break up in the mouth as you eat it. Okay, so you take a bamboo rolling mat covered in a plastic bag and just place it like so, right side down. Now you add a piece of sushi grade salmon. If you want to know more about sushi grade salmon, then click on the link which is pinned on top left corner. Okay, add a little bit of sliced cucumber. You want to add very little of everything because otherwise you won't be able to shut the roll. Now you simply just pull it over, holding in with your fingers, and then shut. Press in, release, and then move forward and then just throw them up again. Now you don't want a circular sushi roll, you just want a squared sushi roll. This has a more or less square shape. Perfect, and this is your basic simple sushi roll. Now you just cover it in some cling film and cut it. Just press the cling film onto your sushi roll and then use a very sharp knife like this one to slice it. Slice it in half and then slice the halves into quarters and the quarters into eighths. If you want the same knife as I'm using, then just click on the link on the top left corner and that will take you there. Now the ends, you can just leave them like that, firm them up a little bit or slice off a small amount so that it's just a finished end. There we go. Perfect. If you have a very blunt knife after cutting it, it might have moved or deformed a little bit. Don't worry, just take your bamboo mat in a plastic bag and re-firm it up. There we go. So now that you've cut your sushi roll, now to top them. Now I've got loads of different types of toppings and just get to it. Just here's some avocado I've sliced and then just to the right side so it fits on top of a sushi roll. Perfect. Then a piece of smoked salmon. Oh yeah, you can trim it a little bit so it's just the right size. Just like so. The sharp the knife obviously is easier to go. Okay, and then just, it's pretty simple. This is wasabi sesame seeds. You can get these on my website and they ship globally. 
perfect. This is plum sesame seeds and they taste like plum. Okay, perfect. And then this is wasabi season masago. So it's Kaplan roll. Beautiful stuff. And this is masago, also Kaplan roll, but this time without the wasabi. And you just simply roll them in and they should adhere to your sushi rolls. Then this is toasted black sesame seeds. I really recommend you get toasted. Don't go for normal because they don't taste that great. The toasting really brings out the essence of sesame seeds. And then you can of course toast them again yourself if you want. This is toasted white sesame seeds. And some panko. Panko is just toasted breadcrumbs. Okay, that's really nice. It looks like you've made loads of different sizes of sushi rolls. Of course, you don't have to make only one of each. You can make three or four of each. So it looks like you've actually made sushi rolls and they're all different. Now, to really make your guests excited about this, you have to display it in a way which really just grabs their attention. So, here, our sushi boat. Now, you can buy this online from my uh, store. A link is just appeared on top left corner and it ships worldwide. And I think it goes for about $100 more or less. Here you can add some cucumber garnish, just, just to decorate it a little bit. And you can learn how to make this by clicking on the link on the right. And then you just start laying your sushi rolls. Just simply just place them and they're gonna look so much better inside this boat than any other plate. I can guarantee that. It just makes it exciting to eat. It's like going to the restaurant, it's an event. It really is great. All right, so obviously you can fill this up much more and get a much grander effect, but I was just doing this for presentation purposes. If you make more than one sushi roll, it will be packed. So that would be great. I hope you guys enjoyed this cooking video recipe about how to make a sushi platter. Now, what I showed you today was only the filling sushi rolls. So you still have to make one amazing sushi roll and you should probably choose that one from my other videos. So check out my other videos by clicking on the right and I'm sure you'll find something which is stunning. Now, if you wanna buy this sushi boat, then you can click on the left right now and that will show you where to buy it. It's collapsible also, so it fits into a dishwasher which is great for cleaning. And I mean, your guests will be really impressed when they see this roll out of the kitchen. Whatever you serve on it will look better on this boat. Okay, so I made this video because a lot of you requested it in the comment section of earlier videos I've made in the past. So if you guys want to see something, leave it in a comment below and if you, enough of you ask the same thing, then I'll make it. Now, if you want to see more of my videos in the future and you're not subscribed to my channel, subscribe now by clicking on the top left corner and you'll be able to see all my newest videos whenever they come out, which is normally about once a week. Thank you for watching, till next week.